Hey guys, so today I'm going to be speaking about a new problem um, that was occurring on Roblox. Whether it's actually been solved is kind of a mystery to me, but it's something that's very, very strange. And I'm going to be telling you basically the story of this new type of scam bot. So this type of bot is actually a stolen account type of scam bot um, and it's a bot that follows um, big YouTubers and developers around, mostly YouTubers though. So people like Dennis, Flamingo, um, Creecraft, uh, Nathorix, Kaneka Kitten, um, Veddev, my usernames, and this, all of them have been experiencing this um, account that just follows them around in Roblox games. The account will also be spamming um, a message that says, your behavior is briefly being monitored under the monitoring program. To opt out, please contact Gerard B. Bloxifant via email or Roblox messages. The weird thing about this, and there's actually quite a lot of weird things and creepy things about this um, kind of scam, is that some of the bots had no name tag and no health bar. That means it surely must have been hacked, right? Wrong. We're gonna get to that later. Um. So, a conclusion that was made after a bit of research made by uh, Creecroft and Tempest um, was that um, all these bot accounts are stolen, which is true. You can see by proof that um, they normal Roblox accounts. Some of them were made in 2012. Some were made in 2017. They were all just all over the place. And, um, boom, like, <laughs> they, they just got stolen and then they get used for this purpose. Um, I just want to say quickly, if you get, like, a message like this, don't, don't message anyone, okay? It's fake, they're probably going to ask for your password and then you're going to become a, a, a bot, okay? Don't become a bot, please, for the love of God. Um... Uh, the the really creepy thing about this is even if you have your joints off, they will still be able to join. But I'll explain to you later how the person behind this managed to actually get this right. Um, and another thing that was discovered was that all the bots follow a user by the name of YQXR. Now YQXR is a very weird account, uh, just completely black with a sailor hat. Um, and is friends with only um, Creecraft and Tempest, and is part of this group called Mugen. There is a bit of theories that Mugen has something to do with it, but I, I personally highly doubt that. Um, and yeah, however, believe it or not, YQXR actually has nothing to do with this. Despite um, all the bots following YQXR, he actually has nothing to do with this at all. The weird thing about the scam, again, is that there's actually no site involved. There's no benefit for doing this for who was behind it. And I know exactly who was behind it, or do I? That's the thing. This is actually a really, like, creepy kind of scam bot. Because I'm not sure if this is actually solved, this whole thing, like people are saying it is. So how they actually did this? This was discovered by a Roblox developer by the name of Real King Bob. Uh, you might know him if you watch some of Flamingo's videos. He's in a lot of Flamingo's videos, um, and he just makes really weird games. Got to do minions. Yes. Um, so anyway, um, so the way that these bots were actually managed to do this, Real King got Bob discovered that uh, there was a Roblox API that allowed anyone to see who was playing what, uh, no matter how private your account was. So Real King Bob reached out to Roblox. You can go see this on his Twitter. Um, he reached out to Roblox and was like, Roblox, you need to get sorted. Eventually, Roblox did sort this out, and this is where people started to think, okay, we're getting somewhere, and that these scam bots are gonna stop. But they were wrong. Uh, so, the guy that's behind this is um, believed to be Gerard Barkley on Twitter, and his Roblox account is unknown at the moment, because Creecraft said in the video that it's something Franco Savelli or something like that. I just searched that and it doesn't come up. That could be a like a Roblox, um, you know, blocking 
use the names out they've done it before so that could be on my end but whatever okay anything could happen I still don't know the full updates so yeah so what this guy actually managed to do was use a discord server to monitor all the youtubers actions this means that he would see when a youtuber joined a game the specific server they joined everything it's just really creepy the way he managed to do this now the very funny thing is he actually claimed to never hack any passwords but he also never mentioned how he managed to claim the accounts which is very strange because i mean if he didn't hack the pa any passwords how did he get the accounts did he buy accounts i doubt it because since there's about uh 573 um, accounts right now at the time of this recording and there's no profit you know to be gained why would he do this if you know what I mean the last thing we found out about him was that this guy is actually a Roblox developer all right and um, we know this because on his Twitter he actually posted a picture of him holding an RDC tag if you don't know what an RDC is it's the Roblox developers conference and only developers are allowed to go to this event that just shows you how poor Roblox's trust is in people and you know it just sucks man and yeah it's a lot of really mixed stuff you know there's a lot of um, controversy with this and um, so eventually uh, this person Gerald Barkley managed to say okay I'm actually Honda Honda is a Roblox developer um, and yeah just Honda yes um, so yeah and um, they basically managed to put this bot back up though but I think it's only for like um, you know like a, a fun thing now rather than a very creepy thing so is do you guys think this thing is solved do you guys really I'm not sure guys I am not sure and that's the creepy part I hope it is I hope it's done and that nothing happens anymore I hope that Craft and Tempus and Real King Bob managed to solve this because I know I'm irrelevant, but I don't want any freaking YouTubers getting stalked, my dude. I would be creeped the hell out if I got a message from one of these bots. Not like they're scary or anything, but like, come on, don't follow me around when I'm trying to play some. I'm sorry, the master of your ears, lol. I love doing that in the most unexpected times. You probably hate me. Leave a like on this video. Anyway, so, yeah. Leave me your opinions down below in the comments. I really want to know what's actually happening. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, my, join my Discord server. Do whatever you want to do. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel. So, yeah. See you in the next video. And, uh, yeah, peace.